What happened was there was discussion about the judgment, and this is a for, this was kind of a formality, this hearing, and this was for um, basically the judge to enter the judgment, okay? We all know how Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's team once again met inside the courtroom on June 24th. I know most of you are also aware that Amber's lawyer tried to wiggle it out of the verdict and ask for more trial dates, which Judge Asker had blatantly rejected. This is why fans expected that Heard's team would not react very nicely after the verdict was finalized. This was also why supporters were pretty annoyed after the Aquaman star's spokesperson commented about the verdict. And yup, just like their client, Amber's spokesperson continues to drop groundless and false accusations against the unfavorable decision they got and even tried to question Johnny and his team's credibility by speaking about their response to Elaine's proposal to settle. So, what did Amber's spokesperson say and what did he try to imply about the verdict? Let's find out. Apparently, Amber's spokesperson is just like her. I mean, I think we all know by now how Amber's team seems to be a bunch of people who need to be right all the time. This is why fans weren't that shocked when Amber's representative dropped his own contribution to Team Heard's false accusation. The comment was about the recently concluded congressional hearing between the two parties. This is actually just a formality where Judge Azicard has to sign the verdict to make it official. Elaine, on the other hand, has different things in mind. Specifically, Amber's infamous lawyer tried to ask for more trial dates, which didn't really appeal to the judge. And the judge basically made no bones about it. If you want to appeal, you have to file that money in order to do so. So it didn't sound like Elaine Bredehoff uh, was ready to maybe concede that point. She wants to address that in some type of motion or something, and she said she would do so. Uh, but the judge really had no time for any um, whatever was going on in that courtroom. I don't know how to quite explain it. Because of this, the verdict was signed and became final. Johnny's team also didn't agree to settle. So the only thing Amber can do to avoid the punishment is to appeal. So there was no discussion about a settlement or anything like that? Zero. And zero. And I didn't anticipate a settlement at all. Um, I didn't anticipate that. Uh, Johnny Depp has, in his own view, been through hell for six years, okay? We've basically heard him say that, I'm paraphrasing, during the trial. He said he lost nothing short of everything. Why would he settle? I mean, he, he believes he was right. The this is when her spokesperson enters the picture. It seems like they are pretty upset that the Pirates of the Caribbean star didn't choose to settle and decided to speak about it since, just like Amber, they always need to have a say about everything. When asked what they thought about the congressional hearing, this is what Amber's rep had to say. As stated in yesterday's congressional hearings, you don't ask for a pardon if you are innocent, and you don't decline to appeal if you know you are right. Well, fans were very impressed with this statement. This fan wrote, this is such an oddly worded statement. Surely when you are telling the truth would be the obvious choice. But she always has to be right. Another fan thinks that Amber's team is trying to push things into a much more political perspective just to have another angle to attack the verdict. This fan wrote, It seems they're desperately trying to push this into the political and activism sphere because she fully intends to go in that direction now that her Hollywood career is over. That is the only rational justification in my mind to include the congressional hearings bit. There were more fans who couldn't help but feel disgusted at how Amber's team was still trying to twist the narrative in order to overturn the verdict that was against them. Well, time can only tell. If Amber really does appeal, then we'll surely get another roller coaster ride from these ex spouses and it'll definitely be another fight against false and groundless lies. How about you? Do you think Amber's representative spoke too much? Will this affect Amber's appeal? Let us know in the comments below.